question I have is related to music theory, specifically to, of course, <laughs> related to key changes. Um, most of the time I'm pretty good at working out key changes when needed to, but sometimes I get hit with curveballs where I have two different keys and there's like no real common tones or common chords that lie within the scale and I'm having a hard time figuring out um, how to do a key change there. Let me make a little premise here before we go into that, the example or any, anything. Sure. You want to. But first, the, there are 12 major keys and 12 minor keys. I guess you guys know that. There are ways to move between every pair of those keys. So if any key I start and any key I want to end, there is a way to move smoothly between them. Now, the fact that it's easy to find or not, that's a completely different thing. But there is a way. There is always a way. Make sense? Yeah. Good. And that's the premise. There are no unsolvable problems here. Everything can be solved. The point is if we find a way to solve it. Now, do you have an example of what are the two keys that you were working between? The first key um, was A minor, and then the second key was C sharp minor. Very good. OK. 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 There are many ways to do that. So, minor, C sharp minor. So the first and simpler way is to just do it. Just go straight, but okay. Okay. In this case it will work. Why? If you go from the first chord of A minor, which is A minor, to the first chord of C sharp minor, which is C sharp minor, you have a common note. Okay? Because A minor has notes A, C, and E. C sharp minor has notes C sharp, E, and G sharp. Mm. But the first thing you do is you, you imagine you have only those two chords. You start to, you do a, what we call a voice splitting. So you just write down the notes of the chord, and you try to see how they correspond to each other. In this case, you have a common note, which is really convenient. So the E of the A minor goes to the E of the C sharp minor. Let me watch the other notes. In A minor, we have an A note. The closest note to it is the G sharp of C sharp minor. Going to pass here? Can you follow? Okay. So this note will move only by a semitone. So it's pretty close. OK. Right. The other note is the C in, C in A minor. that goes to C sharp in C sharp minor. So it's another semitone. So essentially, you'll have three notes. I'll have the, the, if I have only three notes, so I don't know, A, A, C, E. I'm playing an, an, open, an open voicing just so you can hear better, but the A we go down to G sharp, the E we stay where it is, and the C we go up to C sharp. Now I'm going to end on a, on a, on a second, the second inversion of C sharp. But is pretty smooth. Okay. Well, it depends exactly what you're playing before. Mm -hmm. But let's say before you were playing, I don't know, A minor F. Okay. Now the problem is that it doesn't, doesn't really want to stop here. Okay. It wants to go here. And it wants to go somewhere else. We'll have to deal with that later. Okay. Okay. But you can just straight go from one chord to another. Okay? okay. Now, I didn't tell you to play just because there's no voice leading here. So right. since the two chords are in different keys at pretty distance, it sounds a bit jarring because it's not exactly a smooth change. Mm -hmm. The point is that you actually have to write every single part, so transform the riff or I don't know if you have more than one string part, move the violins go there, the violas go here, the cellos go there, say, following those lines, eh? so that it's easier for the ear to catch up on the fact that those notes are close by, so it's not a big change. That is one way of doing it. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. Good. The other surefire way of changing a key is to pass to the dominant chord of the second key. Okay. So, the second key is C sharp minor. The dominant chord is the fifth. So G sharp, G sharp seven to your side, the dominant chord. Okay. So A minor, G 
sharp seven, C sharp minor. So let's say I have a green A minor, F, A minor, C sharp seven, C sharp minor. Hmm? I just slam it in there. Okay. If it doesn't work, my problem is not anymore to go from A minor to C sharp minor, it's to go from the chord A minor to the chord G sharp 7. So I change the problem. If, the, if going to, from the first of one key to the first of the other key is hard, go from the first of one key to the fifth of the other key. Hmm. One of the two is going to be easier. In this case, both are pretty easy. Makes hmm. sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Again, this is if you have no common no common chord or something that can be considered a common chord. Make sense? Yeah. So, so far so good? Yeah. yeah. As it happens, though, we do have a common chord. And you probably didn't notice it because you were harmonizing the, Aeol the Aeolian scale, so taking the natural minor, essentially. Yeah. But if you harmonize, use the harmonic minor, so you use the A harmonic minor, the fifth of a, so the dominant in A minor, it's E major. Right. And E major, it's also the third chord in the C sharp minor key. Hmm. Too fast? No, okay, good, 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 okay. So, it's a common chord. Now, the way to use these is to first use the common chord in the first key, and just stay in the key, and then use the second time and the second time you go in the second key. So, you play your A minor, and your E. So now we are firmly in A minor, because we play one, five, one. And we play the E again, but now it's the third of C sharp minor in my mind, and I go G sharp seven, like the fifth before, and then C sharp minor. Or I can do it in a different way, I can do a minor, E, A minor. Is it a smoother? What do I do right now? So, A minor, E, A minor, E. This is uh, B with, in first inversion, so B with, B with that slash D sharp, it would be with a bass of D sharp, which is the flat 7 chord in C sharp minor. Right. To C sharp minor. Again, I'm thinking voice leading here, I'm thinking the bass of E is E. And I want to go down along the C sharp minor scale, C sharp minor, so... doesn't go to the dominant chord, it just uses the diatonic chord to do the, na the natural minor scale. Make sense? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs>